update six on Typhoon Ramesson, which peaked earlier um, overnight with winds of 115 miles per hour before moving inland over the Philippines and is now approximately 110 miles per hour pressure, 952 millibars. Its position is around 13.3 degrees north, 123.4 degrees east, as of 2 p.m. UTC on July the 15th. Uh, the storm's expected to move towards the west northwest or northwest. Moving very close to the Manila area, uh, still as a typhoon we're expecting, before moving out over the South China Sea where we may see more intensification and possibly another run for Category 3 status. Um, but certainly looking at a Category 2 landfall on the cards for the coast of China, particularly around Hainan Island and to its immediate north. Uh, Vietnam should also be watching out for this storm too as we could be seeing some typhoon conditions in the extreme north of the country there as well. As for now, Signal 3 warnings remain in effect for parts of the Philippines, uh, mainly southern Luzon and northern Samar, um, and the island of Masbate as well. Signal 2 warnings extending further north um, towards the central part of Luzon, including Manila and uh, some of the Visayas region too, and Signal 1 warnings in effect as far north as La Union and Aurora in Luzon, um, the Mindoro Island, and later and Cebu as well. Uh, so that's the current situation with the warnings, lots of warnings out there, 34 provinces under warnings. Uh, so this is the latest satellite imagery or in the past uh, 12 hours or so uh, as the storm moved inland making landfall. Uh, you can see the eye popped out the very last minute there and the sea surface temperatures remain fairly warm. Uh, it will be dropping off very slightly as the storm emerges into the South China Sea uh, but will be generally around 30 degrees plus which is certainly warm enough for sustained cyclone development. Obviously land interaction is going to interfere with that right now. Uh, wind shear is just off to the west and always has been really in relation to the storm. Uh, still just about backing off um, and the storm remains in a low shear environment but that could prove to be a little bit of an issue um, in the next day or so perhaps. We'll see on that one. This is the latest uh, satellite imagery on the water vapour. Uh, you can see the central part of the storm. You can just about see the eye in there as well and a particularly strong um, band towards its west as well just offshore um, the Philippines. This is what the computer models are saying right now then. The CMC first of all takes the storm pretty much as it was forecasted but another typhoon forming behind that as well and that looks like a fairly strong one moving towards the northwest passing the Philippines and then affecting the southernmost Japanese islands and could be a problem for eastern China too. The GFS computer model uh, takes the storm through Hainan Island and the southern tip of um, that Chinese peninsula, I'm not sure what it's called actually, um, and then through the Gulf of Tonkin into the coast of Vietnam as a typhoon. Um, and then our next storm uh, enters the Strait of Taiwan and could affect the Taiwan itself. Latest satellite imagery, this is how it happened, the landfall in the past few hours. The eye really popped out at the last moment there uh, before retreating again by the looks of things and it may disappear completely in the next few hours as land interaction um, gets the better of it. But I think it should remain a typhoon unless something significant happens in relation to the storm form it falling apart. Um, it is well defined eye wall around the eye there as well. Um, the eye is just shrinking really in the past few hours but it could also disappear. Um, and I think it will reform again in the southern China Sea too. Uh, but all around the storm, very strong thunderstorms. That band in particular just moved offshore was affecting the Philippines earlier, uh, but that is now gone. Uh, Invest 90E is in the eastern Pacific. That storm could form. We also have Invest 97S in the Southern Hemisphere, Ramesson and three Invests in the Western Pacific, 93, 94 and now 95W, which is near the international dateline. 37 tropical storms have formed so far this year in 2014. 15 of those have become Category 1 hurricane equivalent cyclones with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher. And Ramesson became the ninth last night to reach Category 3 strength with winds of 115 miles per hour, albeit very briefly. Um, but that is the ninth, 10 off 2010, which is in 25th position. Uh, you can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, will keep you most up to date with all the goings on in the tropics world. Uh, the video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion, will also keep you up to date at regular intervals, as well as the social pages, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13 on those. It's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch or um, share any of our updates as well. You're more than welcome to do that. 
Um, and you can also get to me on Skype personally if you wish at full 13 on there for tropical weather chat. Um, in any case, the next update on this storm will follow in 12 hours time. That's 2 a.m. UTC on July the 16th. That's Wednesday, uh, late morning local time. <laughs>